Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the quarters here that the sailboat operates from and where we sleep, make food, and everything else. The nuts and bolts of this yacht is the pit right here. Everything can pretty much operate from this area. You have your navigation system, you have your instrument readings, and you have cameras all over this boat that you can toggle through on this iPad to see your sails trim or anything else that you might want to look at. And from this pit, you can pretty much change any sail, you can trim any sail and do everything in between. And there's four wenches that run off this pedestal that you can change and basically make everything happen quickly. Make, just trim sails, change them. They have three different gears on one setting and three different gears on the other. So essentially this is where everything happens. Whoever's helming the boat will man the main and kind of control what direction you're sailing from this area or that area over there, depending what tack you're on. And yeah, let's go into the living quarters here. So this is it. It's basically a carbon missile. It's very quiet right now because we're on a mooring in Bermuda, which we just got to this morning. But when we're flying full speed between 25 and 30 knots, these beds here are pretty aggressive. It's basically a functional bean bag with a pillow, and you kind of just lay down in here when it's not your watch, and you might just lay straight in your foul weather gear, and if it's hot like it was for us, we just peel it down fireman style right to the ankles and leave the boots on lay down and try to get 20 to 30 minutes of sleep or at least get off your feet for a little while then if something happens you can just whoop, straight up with the overalls and back to it on the deck and that's pretty much where everything happens for that part of the trip anytime you get horizontal is pretty welcome when things are pretty rough which they were for us getting to bermuda and then down here is our galley this is pretty much it for cooking. We have one burner that makes hot water, any coffee, tea, or if you're gonna do freeze-dried food or make a ramen or oatmeal, all operates right out of here. And this is essentially the galley, which is a boat's kitchen. All the food goes in here, snacks. These are our little containers. We put the food in to heat it up before we eat it. And the last sale we had to Bermuda was a little rough, so this really didn't get used much. We kind of just ended up snacking on bars and drinking water. So whatever was pretty convenient to eat was the go. It was almost too rough to try to get everything going in here. And this, this is the main part of the boat. This is the toilet. This is for the number two. And the number one happens, you just lean down onto a knee on the back and hang on as best you can while you take a piss and if you have to do number two then that's going to be quite an adventure given that you're probably bouncing around at 30 knots so it makes for an exciting process and that's pretty much it that's kind of that's the boat this is the guts of it up there are extra sails and yeah 